tree. Hi everyone, back again. Janine and I are outside today, so if you hear some uh, background noise, that's okay. We just had a huge truck go by, it was kind of loud. And if you're watching and things aren't working right, or it's too noisy and you can't hear, we'll move inside. Anyway, today we are going to go through the house, um, bottom floor first, and the changes that I made to the bottom floor, and then we'll move upstairs. There's not a lot done upstairs. The, the upstairs is done <laughs> that wasn't done before but there's not a lot of stuff in it so we're going to concentrate on the downstairs the outside I haven't done anything to because I need to get wood and I, I I did find out that the store in Ottawa is curbside pickup which is good so I'll make a trip in there and uh, I didn't think a small store like that would be but. so first things first I did the floors and it was funny because I do you, need, do you want to pull that up it was funny because I brought it out here into the bright sunlight and there are a whole bunch of things that I saw that I didn't see before <laughs> that are wrong that I need to fix but that's okay that uh, was a good a good exercise so the floors are done uh the fireplace in the last the last walkthrough that we did was white uh I don't know if you remember it and it had a built-in bookshelf there's a dog barking built-in bookshelf and it looked really good in the other house but once I watched the video and I saw it in this living room I didn't like it at all and partly because there's no second floor, so it should have gone to a ceiling and there wasn't one. And my goal for this house is to use it for displaying artwork. So I didn't want to divide the whole wall up. So I took it out and made this little number. And it, <laughs> this is, so it's a linear fireplace. This is that wood that I get from the dollar store that is the cutlery trays and it's bamboo. It's really awful to cut. Like it's really, really dense but um, it's it's nice it's got a nice finish to it so I want to well first I was going to hinge it but then I had this issue with the windowsill so I'm lifting it off works just as well I wanted to make it look like it would light up it's going to be hard to see that out here because it's bright but what I did I don't want you mean if you can see inside this chat open sorry are we lost are we back yeah it's not chat okay. opened oh dear so if you can see what I did in here I built well, on this side I built just a box out of tongue depressor blah 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 for the wood box and this of course is just twigs of wood in here and I don't I can't take it out to show you because I glued it in I made a little well this is a, this is a plexi so it looks like the fireplace and I made a little uh I'm sure there's a name for it a little frame out of toothpicks just not toothpicks popsicle sticks and I cut a flame like shape in one of them so that when I turn these tea lights on oh. <laughs> and I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it or not because of the brightness out here but when I turn the tea lights on the fireplace oh yeah looks pretty cute so I did do a demo or not a demo I did do a tutorial on that that I posted somewhere one of the groups and I will with all the diagrams and the measurements and exactly how I did it and I will put that up on my YouTube thing and post that it on the website. That is seriously cool. But that, I thought, really liked that. Um, the TV, the only thing I changed about the TV, well, I moved the TV, um, but I made it two coffee stirs and I made slits in it so that now the TV is off, but I can slide in laminated TV shows. Mm. So there's a little slide up there that I'll do later. One of these days. That's how you change your channels. That's how you change your channels. Tess is disappointed that they don't actually change with the remote, but <laughs> you can't have everything. Uh, the curtains are new. I'm not 100% on them. Not 100% sure I like them. I mean, I like them, but I don't know if they're right for this particular house. I kind of like the shades up on the top, which are just a vellum. Oh, yes. Uh, but I just don't have any more, and I can't, don't know when I'm going to get any more. So there, everything's up in the air. And that's another thing that I do is I use the, the glue gun for is if I'm not sure of something I'll use the glue gun and it's easy to take it off and it doesn't mm -hmm. it really doesn't mark the, the finish of the paint or the window sills or anything because mm. it'll it holds it up enough to keep it there but not to damage the paint. Stairs are another thing I'm not sure of we've always had this discussion I'm going to put them in and take them out I have a love-hate relationship with them I don't love them I don't safety hate them. issue <laughs> we don't worry about that safety is not an issue it never has been <laughs> <laughs> that started at two B's one year. Safety and comfort is not an issue. Claire loves it. <laughs> so the stairs, I'm going to take them out for now, but that's where they go. This light is new. I haven't done anything in the kitchen yet. Again, because I need to get a lot of uh, wood supplies and specific sizing. And uh, I just don't have it. So the kitchen is going to go here and it's not done yet. But I did make a kitchen island. 
And again, I use that same um, top of oh, the, the bamboo top of the cutlery thing. It's, it needs to be varnished still. It's not quite done, but and I don't have any cupboards because I haven't committed myself to what style of cupboard I want. But it is going to sit there. Inspiration for mine, so <laughs> it's going to sit there. And let's see. Oh yes, I forgot about these little guys, little bar stools. And of course they swivel. Well, yeah. <laughs> So I did four of those, and I will do a tutorial on those one day, but I do, the problem with me and doing demos and tutorials is that I get working on it. I start out with good intentions. I start out taking step-by-step -step pictures, and then before I know it, I've finished it, and I've forgotten the last 18 steps. So I, I probably will have to make this over again. So you can see three at your island? No, I can see four. Oh, you can see four. We'll put one down here. Ah. We could also do two and two. So. I haven't, I'm going to turn the lights off. I haven't yet um, committed to what kind of cupboards I want, so I haven't put the doors on that yet, but there will be doors eventually. So that's it for the kitchen, nothing else there. Um, there's some plants for the living room. We're going to do a little demo on these after. So I put one up here and one up here. Whoops, that one's a little bit, doesn't want to sit right. And we'll put one over here in the corner. Oh, another thing about the TV. This is really cute. You'll appreciate this. Uh, I was looking at a really modern looking house, which this is on the inside, but this was a modern a home modular thing, which I'm going to do next. And on the wall, they had a built in space for your phone. And that became your, <laughs> your TV. I know Janine's saying, but you don't have a phone. <laughs> and she's right. But it could be a good incentive. But you will. Phone, which I might. So there you go. So I might do the phone thing. Uh, on the light is new. So this is another one that is, this was from the dollar store. It had was a- Was it an earring? <laughs> no, it could have been, <laughs> I guess. Uh, I don't know. I don't wear jewelry, mm -hmm. um, it, it had a twist- it Might be for the best. <laughs> it had a tea light thing on the top that was kind of clunky. I had it in the other house in the attic, but it was kind of whatever. So I took it apart, put a washer, put one of these lights in it and secured it with that glue that so, uh, is the strongest glue in the world. JB Weld, it's called. I meant to have the tubes up here to show you, but anyway. Uh, it takes forever to dry, but it is seems to be the strongest glue in the weld, world. Weld, W-E-L-D. JB Weld, and it comes in a two-part. I think I've seen that around here. There you go. Yep, I got it at Canadian Tire. Hmm. So there's that little light, and I need another light that I think is pretty darn cute. It sits back here, but I'll put it here for right now so we can show you. So this was, and now there's another, there's also a demo that I've done. Not a demo, but just a small tutorial, I guess. Um, is that on your website? Not yet. Okay. No, yes it is. Oh. Yes mm. it is, sorry. Pardon me. It is on my website, I think. Mm. I'm not sure. <laughs> I'll check after. But it can be. How's that? So this is a quarter inch dowel. And this is the glue bottle that super glue comes in so the body of the thing is the super glue bottle okay, like the tube of super glue sits in here and then there's a cap on it so when you buy it it comes in this plastic so it's clear plastic and then oh. this is some kind of stiff can't papery canvas that i had laying around but i mean you could use anything you could use leather or scrapbook paper or whatever you wanted and again these little lights i'm telling you they're handy and there you go which i think is pretty darn cute so I'll turn that off and I'll put it back in its corner. And somebody hearted that. <laughs> and we're, oh, another little plant. We're going to do that. Uh, we're going to show you how to do those in a little bit too. I did some polymer clay. I worked in polymer clay for probably 20 years and I really don't want to go back there, but I wanted some pottery. So I did uh, make some, some little pots. I'm going to put them by the, by the fireplace. And I did them. Um, and then I did white nail polish and it was okay. And then the other day I was using that polycrylic for the floors and I thought, what if I literally dipped these in that? Hmm. And, then, and then I had them on a stick and then I stuck them in a piece of foam and they, it, I didn't brush it on. I literally dipped it right in and let it drip off and they turned out really cool. So that is very awesome, modern. Guys. And we've got some cushions we'll put here. Um, let's 
Let's see. Oh, I did this chair. Just for extra seating. So we've got this little guy. Now it was, I don't know if I'll do a tutorial on it or not. It was a, it was a long process. I started, I was going to bend the wood because I hadn't bent wood before. I built a pivot. Debbie Kirk says wood. she's blown away by everything you do as am I. <laughs> so thank you. So I gave up on the wood because I think because it was small in a small, like I think if you had a big piece of wood, it's easier because the fibers are longer, right? Mm. So I think when I'm trying to bend something this little, I didn't have much luck. So I gave up on that and I did use clay for this. So I kind of made it wood grain. Uh, so I did use clay for that. Let's get a look at that. I had a, um, a piece of wood that I shaped and that's what I put the clay on. So a piece of rounded mm -hmm. wood with rounded corners. And I had the shapes already, I had the pattern made. And again, I went online, found the chair. So this is an Ames chair, an Ames lounger, I think. Is it from? Yeah, we know it's Ames. And uh, they give you they give you all the measurements. So like everything is right there. You just have to draw it out and, and make it scale it down. So that's this little guy. Um, but it, it was, there was a lot of, of steps in it. These <laughs> metal parts, and I used them in another chair. I'll show you when we go upstairs. <laughs> I was cutting metal out of metal <laughs> and uh, I don't know I was upstairs looking around I had these nose pieces from when I was making <laughs> masks <laughs> these bendable and they're adhesive Ooh. and I was like well that's gonna work perfectly so I put those on I don't even know what that is that oh that must I must have drilled a hole and then put wire in and then snipped it that pandemic is such a mixed blessing isn't it <laughs> so look at what came out of it <laughs> And it, like it, because it's flexible, you can actually move the headrest and whatnot. So anyway, mm. And then I just, for this bottom piece, I just use wood and I use my, um, metallic vinyl that I have from my Cricut machine, but you could paint it just as well. But I, whether I'll do a tutorial on that or not, I don't know. It was a, it was a huge job. It was, took forever and I did it all, everything I do twice, but this I did twice. Mm -hmm. It can sit there. Uh, the coffee table. I get, oh shoot, I just lost all the glasses. Coffee table again is that same bamboo wood from the dollar store, Dollarama. Um, cutlery tray, which I'm going to get more of when I... But I think I need to get a little miniature power saw because then I think mm. it would make it a lot easier. It's almost Christmas. <laughs> well, it isn't really, but sure. <laughs> <laughs> The couch, the couch was the last thing I did in here. I feel like I'm forgetting something, but I've got a couple of things at the end. The couch was gonna be this one. This was my first idea. So when it comes to leather, um, with that leather right there, and I, if you remember in the other house, I did a black leather couch and I harvested it from an old office chair that was sitting in the garage that was no good anymore. I had tons of it, I'm almost at the end of it now. But I didn't, I couldn't think of anything to, that was off-white. I mean, you could use, you can look for purses, you can look for old coats. Like, we have tons of old purses around the house. I just didn't happen, happen to have a white one. But uh, chances are it would have been dirty anyway. But it's... Well, so would the couch, probably. <laughs> that's true. Um, anyway, I did order this vinyl off Amazon, and it was kind of risky because who knows if it's going to be too thick. You have to find something that's thin. Mm -hmm. Like, if you have to, uh, that's probably the maximum thickness you can go to with that black one. And it was pretty thin. So anyway, it came in, it was perfect. So I started out, this was my idea. So this was half inch, oops, get rid of that. Uh, half inch uh, wooden square dowling, made the frame. Anything that's spare, you just put on your, put on your pants. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. Um, so I liked it, but I'm not sure. And I, they're, they're cush there's cushions that go on there. So they're, they're cushions mm -hmm. that sit up, two cushions that sit here. But I don't know, I, I just wasn't a hundred percent sure. So I came up with another idea that I really like, and it looks like this. It's nothing like furniture shopping. I know. So I make oh, this one. Oh, sexy. It is, and I like it a lot better. So I did do a tutorial on this, and I do have it up on the website. And no, I have it, I have it on my YouTube one. I don't think I've got it on the website yet, but I'm going to get all of these up and on this weekend for sure. So this one is up on the YouTube channel, but not on the website, I don't think. But it will be. Um, and it's a full-on like measurement. So if we search you on YouTube, we'll find a couch. You will. Yeah. yeah. So I, I, th I, I really like this one better. So that's the one I'm going with. Oh, I do too. I think it's very sleek. Yeah, I like that. And then I think to finish off down here, I mean, there's all kinds of little things like, you know, the Time Magazine and the, 
iPads and those little things that you can add later. But I think the basic is done. I may still may change those curtains. I'm not 100% on them. I like, oh, and the curtains was another thing. Like, where do you get fabric? Fa getting fabric around here is hard enough at the best of times. It, during a pandemic, it's almost impossible. We used to go to Joann's. Can't do that anymore. I've been, go I've gotten pretty good at going to stores like Giant Tiger to find fabric in things that aren't fabric. And you, you can't go into a second store. You can't store. go in there. You ain't going anywhere right now. So mm. that was, there's an icy chuck. Oh, nice. It looks like a delivery shop. I wonder if he's looking for me. Oh, I, they follow me around. <laughs> they know your car. <laughs> <laughs> so that fabric was an old cushion that had a stain on it. Cushion cover. Why did I keep it? I don't know. It had a stain on it. But I did. I probably thought someday I could get that out. Anyway, it, it got, uh, it's made a better use. Of it. Actually, this fabric might be attractive. <laughs> <laughs> Start cutting up everything. <laughs> Nothing is safe. Uh, you'll see a, more about what I mean by oh, that. Oh, Jessica, did minutes. you get a good look at the couch here? There we are. We loving the couch. I love the couch. I think the couch is very cool. Jessica um, thinks that um, there should be kids' toys all over the floor. There could, well, and so, dog toys. Well, kids don't. There's no dog in this house yet, and there's also no kids. But there, well, there will be a kid. I can't see that. Um, we'll talk about that in a minute. So it never fails that on the well, day that I'm... It's, this isn't right, an in-law suite up here, I can tell you. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> <laughs> on the day that I decide I'm ready to do one of these, I have everything done to this point. Never fails that on the morning of, I think there's one more thing that I have to finish. <laughs> like, I couldn't just let it go. No, no. I had to do it. Um, and so this morning I made this, this which I... I think it's really neat. I really like That's it. It's quite gorgeous. You should do that in real size. I, <laughs> but I'm going to, I don't think it goes with the curtains, but I'm going to hang it up there for now to have a look. And then I'm going to put up another one. Too. Like I, I like it with everything but these. Don't, don't you think so or do you not agree? Okay. Does anybody have an opinion? Curtains, artwork, do they go together? Ditch the curtains, ditch the artwork. What are our thoughts? I mean, we can, the, the, the artwork in this house is going to change all the time anyway. Because well, because all artwork changes because in all it houses. should, and I want to use it to take pictures of the miniature artwork. But, I mean, there's there's something else that could go there. Um, but I'm just not, I'm not sure about those curtains. I'm not a curtain person to begin with. I don't have curtains in my real house. I don't know. I don't know what it is. I'm, but I don't hate them. Um, so, for now... Jessica will take the curtains in her house. <laughs> well, they, if they'll fit, go for it. <laughs> I'll have to find a better way to hang that, but I will. Okay, so that's that. Um, I think we're going to go upstairs now. So last time we didn't have, we had this in, but we did not have the ladder in. So the, ladder is, now, the ladder is now in. This is going to be up to the little kids' loft. And I don't know if you remember, but I mentioned making mobiles. Now, interesting fact. If you Google miniature dollhouse mobiles, you do not get dollhouse mobiles. You get dollhouse phones and tablets. Oh, mobiles. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so, and I didn't need, I didn't need, I just wanted to see if anybody else was doing it, mostly. And nobody else is. So I think I'm going to uh, sort of start a little line of that too. It's fun out here in the wind. Oh, yeah. Very cute. And then this, now this floor is a little bit different. I don't know if you can see it, Janine. It's, um, I don't know if it'll show up. It's wider plank, and it, I bleached it. Well, I didn't bleach it. I, can see. I didn't bleach it. I made it look like bleached, but I just rubbed white paint, thin white I paint am. on it, and then varnished it. And then this... Like Kathy thinks yeah. the curtains are too thick. Yeah, I think so, too. Yeah, I think the curtains have to be changed. Mm -hmm. However, again, I can, that's easy to change. So this is a little number that I oh, made. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be Tessa's bed. Tessa, no, Tessa's name is Timmy. Sorry. She was very upset at the last house when I had Ollie. And I only had Ollie in it because I'd made a bed that was exactly like Ollie's bed. So I put the little boy in the bed and he named himself Daniel. And Tessa put, pulled me aside one night and she said, Grandma, why did you use Ollie and not me? And she was really mad. So <laughs> <laughs> I said in the next house she could have a room. Now, not, the woodwork is There's just... There's a little sleepless in Seattle vibe there. The kids in the chair, yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, cute. Um, the woodwork up here isn't done, so some of it is, but it's just, it's not quite finished yet. And there's, I don't know what else is going up here. I think I wanted to have like a little arts, kind of art studio thing going on. 
there's going to be some kind of a chair. I don't know where she's going to put her clothes. Not my problem. I don't care. But don't this give was, her any. <laughs> <laughs> this I made out of, this bottom was probably the cap of a, like a cream, like a, um, you oh, know when you get hand cream. cheese thing or something. Or, or, oh. Well, no, because that's wood, that's a piece of wood that I bent around. Ah. So, but that would have been way easier. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and then this, to make the frame for this, I used this rope covered um, wire. I used that also, if you look at that plant beside that black chair, that's also what that plant is planter is wrapped in oh, over mm, here yes so this although you can't see it anymore is what made the frame and then this is just string that i wove it took day like it the hours it took me it was ridiculous uh, to weave around <laughs> but i well i was determined uh and I, is I, she I, gonna get a light if she's she, reading in there yeah oh yeah she has a little light oh, um, okay I didn't bring it up. My concern. It was pretty cute. It, I'm not 100 percent sure it's exactly the way I wanted. I took She's a. By reading on her iPad anyway, and it's backlit. Exactly, but it, I took a string of those fairy lights and mm. I smooshed them just in a like in a, a not a round round ball, but uh -huh. like a what do you call it? An organic shape, and I was gonna have it there. I think Kristen Vino's lights are like that in her room at home. Oh, cool. Um, I forgot about this. So this was another chair. Oh, there's also a demo. I have to figure out how to put um, files on the YouTube channel that where you're just reading it. I haven't done that yet, but it can't be. How hard can that be? Because I've got, well, I've got a demo of this, but it's not a video demo. It's just like a, a picture, like a a picture tutorial. Uh, um, and I have a tutorial. A, a pictorial. I've got <laughs> I've got one of those for that chair as well, and I, and the same for this chair. So this again is the nose wires from the masks. Very <laughs> nice. I mean, it worked perfectly. And this chair actually wasn't that hard to do. Um, this stuff also. Now isn't, all I can see is nose wires. I know. It's not. <laughs> it's not super play worthy. I mean, it's pretty fragile, but. And I'm, when the kids come over to play, it's usually only Tessa and Georgia who are very careful anyway. Mm -hmm. um, but my feeling is that since I made it all at one point, that it can all be fixed. I mean, right? So I'm, and but I, you have terrified them, and that's good. That, well, yeah, I do, I do that too. I threaten them mm -hmm. pretty much within whatever. Um, let's see. So there's nothing else in this room yet. Um, obviously, there's going to be a bed of some sort and some kind of cabinet and maybe a window seat. I don't know yet. And I don't know that this chair is staying here because it's the only thing of color in the whole house. But that might make it fun, right? Mm -hmm. If there's only one. Only well, it, it sort of does pick up on the artwork a bit. It does, yeah. I think these, yeah, I think these are going to get changed out. But and I like this look. But I can't get that paper right now, so I'm going to have to wait on that. Maybe somebody will send you a wedding invitation or something, and they'll have something well, yeah, you can. That would, that would have it for sure. Those nice little. Ah, uh, when Michael's open. Okay, so now oh, uh, Kathy suggests a Murphy bed. That might be a fun thing to try. That might be, but what, on which where though? Because I need a wall. Oh, true. Not necessarily in this house, but yeah. Now this would, would be, be another, another truck one. going by. Oh yeah. Okay, sorry. So we will, we're taking a short break. <laughs> we're taking a little break. Wave to the people on the truck. <laughs> <laughs> they wave back. So there you go. Um, he was on his phone the last time. Well, not the driver, but. <laughs> The guy in the passenger <laughs> and get him arrested um, or fined. So, okay, let's do the demos. Is there a window behind that chair? No. Hmm. No, there's a window here, and that's why I put that window there. I'm glad oh, I that's a that, yes. That's I'm nice. glad I put that window there. Yeah, that's very. Uh, I like that window there. Okay, so nice. the demos we're going to do, I'm going to move the house back a little bit. These are pretty quick and pretty straightforward, and you're going to be like, oh, I don't need a demo for that because it's obvious, but whatever. We're going to do it anyway. So I'll start with the knives. So this is pulled from the other house. That they made out of Since this house doesn't masks. have a kitchen. Um, so the little wooden block is just tongue depressing. I'm going to find you here. A little tongue depressor. And then this is, um, it, could, it could either be florist foam or I think I used that foam core stuff, but either or. Uh -huh. And then the little knives. So I'll show you how we do those. Now, the first couple of knives I made, <laughs> I wasn't very careful about measuring them, uh, about scale, and they were like monsters. They were like four feet long. Uh -huh. so, 
I do have to be careful. Every house needs a nice machete. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you do have to watch the scale a little bit. Even if you think something looks right, then you put it next to something else. And I was like, that's not right at all. That's not even close. Um, so, I got this stuff at um, the hobby shop in Ottawa that I go to the hobby center. That's where I get a lot of stuff from. Or oh, that it. sounds like a Margie Canada place. Well, it's mostly train um, uh -huh. and model builders, but they have everything that you need for dollhouses. They concentrate more on trains and stuff, but they've got all this stuff. So, it's, and I don't have the package, so I can't tell you how thick it is, but you could also use the inside of a pop can or the outside of a pop can. Here we have a demo pop can. So we have a demo pop can. <laughs> so, and you can cut it with scissors. Now, I have this mm. pair of scissors only cuts metal. Yes. And I only use these for cutting metal. So, because it's going to ruin any scissors mm -hmm. you use, but whatever. So, you cut yourself out a little shape. I measure up, and I've measured up a knife, and the one that we use a lot is about a foot long. And mm -hmm. I think the handle was four and a half inches or something. So, I just go to real things. And if, I, if I'm making something that I don't happen to have in my house, and divide it by, you know, like one foot is one, one inch. One foot is one inch, yeah. Well, for, the, for what I'm mm -hmm. doing, there's people working different scales, but this is this is probably the most common. Um, railroad people work in. One oh, I remember inch. Bruce Sutherland. He went, spent a lot of time on his model trains. Lovely man. So this is a knife that, oops, that's not very, oops, 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 good demo. So here's a little knife, and I, so I've cut a little end. Band-aids would be handy. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And I'm going to use a popsicle stick for this one. I mean, there's different ways you could do it, uh, but the, you could use coffee stirs and cut two and put one on each side, which I think I probably did for these. I can't remember. But you can also do it um, with a popsicle stick. And so I'm just going to cut just like so. So you really don't need any, like I, I've got saws and clippers and snippers and all kinds of stuff downstairs, but you can, this works just as well. Oh, I didn't mention either, um, after I cut out this little shape, I do sand it, I sand the edges with a little bit of sandpaper. So there's that. I'm gonna cut that a little longer and I'll show you what I'm gonna do that in a minute. with the grain is really easy. Now this isn't, I, I actually have another uh, stiffer sandpaper that's probably a bit better and it would round those corners right off. A little Dremel might be a handy thing to have around. It might be. I have one somewhere but I don't know. I just use mine for my dog's nails. Oh there you go. So for in this particular case what I'm going to do is cut a slit right here. And I'm going to hope that I don't wreck it, but I could. But I mean, you saw how long it took. So if it doesn't work, you make another one. You make another one. But it's not like you're putting hours and hours and hours into this project. And then you just. Um, it's not SpaceX. No. Oh. You would get some mm, glue in there. Yeah. yeah it's not going to work for me. Not well, but. You just have to be patient. Patience is like the name of the game. Oh, this. knife near flesh. No, it's okay. It's okay. It's because this little thing is bent. But I'm not going to waste a whole bunch of time doing it. You get the idea. That goes in there. Just like a real knife. Yeah, just like a real knife. You'd, I'd have glue. Where did all this extra fluff come from? I don't know what that you know, is. It might be interesting to know the real knives often the, the metal goes all the way the to way the down. bottom. Yeah. You could just glue two sides. Yes, you could do that. And I think that's what I did in these. Mm -hmm. And then I used the coffee stirs because um, they're thinner. Mm -hmm. So you could make this longer. I mean, you just look at your knives in your kitchen and then I would probably take my knife and, and bevel that a little bit. Oh, yes. Okay. <laughs> So <laughs> there's a knife. Now, if you want to make a bread knife. Whole different thing. It's a whole different thing. What it is. <gasps> oh, oh, <laughs> is the oh. the strip on the inside of your glad. Of course Sorry. it is. <laughs> of course it is. So bread knife, saws, whatever you need to make. And, and all, like everything in the house right now is 
half gone because <laughs> it's knives it's and doing things. Something. It's become something else. So that's the knife. And then, of course, you'd um, get a little sand. Um, you could. Um, I can't. Oh, I it. think that's amazing. I can't find my tiny little drills, but you can drill and then insert a piece of wire in there and it looks like a, like a lot of times a knife has yeah, that uh -huh. so there's lots of different ways you can finish it and then a little stain and i for stain i mean i have all these stains downstairs i, I don't know where they came from i think when blocks went out of business they gave me a bunch of stain something i can't oh, remember lovely. it was but they, then they take a really long time to dry so i always almost always just use acrylic paint so that's what all this is stained with is acrylic paint brown and a little bit of red and then I thin it down so I'm not it's not a thick paint it's, it's more it like a becomes stain, a stain and it dries really fast so mm. it's a lot easier to do okay so the plants the plants are pretty straightforward too but let's go for it I gotta get a few things here do any of your toothpaste tubes have caps no <laughs> <laughs> nothing has a cap I went to find one even to just show for the demo and I was like yeah I know now that's it. That's an obviously a toothpaste cap, and I left it that way to show you that it could, what it could look like. But I would probably paint it or something. Just I, I don't like it when when you look at it and go, oh, that's a toothpaste cap. Uh -huh. I'm probably too far away to be talking. But I, anyway, I ruined your day by mentioning that, didn't I? My what? Ruined your day by mentioning that. <laughs> no. No, 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 no. I mean it's fine, but I might just I don't. Know. So this one. So, yeah, we're talking about caps and we're talking about the pots. I left this one plain because I wanted you to see what it was. So it's the top of the acrylic mm -hmm. paint. I mean, It's nice the way it would drain. Um, it would drain. Well it would have a drain hole. Exactly. For, for root rot. It would have a yes. drain hole. No <laughs> root rot. This, I think, was a magic marker um, cap wrapped with string. Okay. Oh. This one is... Uh, that's adorable, Jess, Jessica. Of course, she could have been here by now. She wasn't pretending that she was working. Yeah, she's just pretending. This one is, I don't know, you can tell what that is, a pill bottle or something. Um, uh -huh. Or maybe another glue, or maybe it's a glue, another glue bottle that I cut down, something mm -hmm. wrapped in that um, rope that I showed you so earlier. It could be anything. Very nice. These two were, uh, again, caps off of those little, anything that comes in a spray. Did it open a like whole Like a non shop. spray. And that's a cork. Ah. Uh -huh. Sheeting, okay. So all kinds of neat ways to make pots. I guess bringing this down would make sense right now, since I've gotten up eight times to get things off of it. Um, this is just <laughs> again. This is just I did that. I, that's glue for polystyrene, but that would again make it a top. I mean, you can or a pot. You can mm -hmm. spray it with that stone spray if you want. You can. Yeah, you can cover it with leather. You can do whatever you want. Mm -hmm. um, and the tea candles, too, make good. And again, drain holes. Very nice. Very good for the roots. And we've got coffee all over here. Coffee, you say? Coffee. We've been grinding our coffee, have we? No. But I'll tell you. So, let's start with... Um, I'm going to start with this one, just because I want to show you... Because uh, the, the plants that you buy, when you go into the, wherever you go in Michael's Dollar or wherever you're buying the plants from, they're not always the right scale. So this, these leaves right here, came from this, but I just, oh. so I just cut it. So that's obviously way too big, unless you're like doing an outdoor scene in Barbados or something. Which you wish you were. Why did I even mention that? <laughs> but <laughs> anyway, it's, yeah. So you can cut this stuff down and it doesn't. So you've got the base, you've got the middle wire, you've got the coloring. And then just cut yeah. to it. Oh, on. cool. Uh, this fern one, like they're pretty small. They worked. Yeah. That one worked. So, I mean, I could make like, that's a sprig of, from one sprig from the store. You could make like 18 plants. Mm -hmm. Sprig. The, <clears throat> these ones, again, they came in a big bunch. So that made this, this, this. But it also made this little cactus. Ah. Just by using the very ends. And I think I, I went down gradually and then I had to trim it. It was kind of a pain. But just, you know, if you want to do something stupid and go to all that trouble, go for it. So I'll start with a container. I'm not going to do the whole thing because it's really obvious, but I'm just going to go through this step. I'm not going to build one just because it's time consuming and it's not necessary. But they're very light. So the top, the top is light. The plant is light. 
it need to give it some weight, so I always put oh, again for drainage. Uh huh. There you <laughs> always put stone. some, some stones in the bottom. Put yes. Some stones in the bottom. And it doesn't. <laughs> these happen to be like pretty, but they don't. You can get them out of the driveway if you want, or anything to give it a little bit of weight. And then I'll take a little bit of um, florist foam. Ugh. This stuff is weird. I don't know whoever came up with this weird. Oh, um, a suggestion of macrame pot hangers. That could keep you busy well, of an it evening. Well, could, and I want to do one <laughs> right there. Oh, we have a plan. Already one, right? I was going to put a row across here, like a, an extension on the wall, but it doesn't go to the end. So it was I very big in the one. 60s. Yeah, thank you. So, you probably just missed that. Yeah, I know. Oh, I did a lot of macrame back in the day. Uh, so fill that up with... Your, this weird, I don't know, this stuff is weird. But anyway. Um, and then Perfect just, spot for your macrame hair. Yeah. And then I just start snipping the ends of the whatever. Linda Barkley says hi, I'm sure. She's watching anyway. I'm I sure she'd say hi. I didn't know. So yeah, so you just, you know, your, foam, your stones, your foam, your plants, I'd probably end up at some point using some hot glue just to make sure everything stays in place although it doesn't really move too much and then at the end what i would do is take some glue and again i'd probably use eileen's because it dries clear and this mm -hmm. doesn't but i'm out of it and so is the hobby center and so is michael's it's ridiculous doesn't it, you kick yourself if you don't anticipate a pandemic i know well i think we could have doing hobbies and stuff right yeah so i know all that stuff is other people <laughs> Anyway, what I would do is I'd take Eileen's, although this doesn't really show that much, and I'd put a layer on the top after I'm done everything, and then take some coffee. <gasps> oh, there's the coffee. Pour it onto the wet glue, and then you push you get them. Soil. Your soil. Oh. So there's your plants. Oh, I know one other thing I want to show you. Julian, if I show you, if I hold a picture up on my iPad, will it show up on the screen? I don't see um, Well, we can, we can yeah. see. So there's something that I... I actually did this years ago, but I don't have any idea where it is. And now I can't get one because I'm not going to Canadian Tire for one 39 cent item. But this is um. Oh yeah, we can see this. This is a cap it's in the plumbing aisle. And it's about an inch or an inch and a half big. Yes. <laughs> uh -huh. They don't look that nice in the store, but if you bring it home and you put it in salt and vinegar and scrub it, it becomes a beautiful copper color. Oh, and you have a copper pot. A copper pot. So I'll try and have one of those for the next time. But like I said, I'm not going to put aside for a 39 well, cent. When you cap. demo your macrame, you can maybe do That's your copper pot. Good point. Good point. That's a good idea. And I don't know what else. Maybe I'll demo the. I don't know what we'll do next time. But we'll see. Anyway, I do have a full on demo tutorial on this couch that is up now. But I'll put the link. I'll post the link. Yeah. Or search you on YouTube. Yes, we'll do that. Um, so thanks everybody for joining. Thanks Janine for helping. There's a lawnmower now. Oh, lawnmowers, trucks, isn't this just springy? And mosquitoes. Mosquito, yeah, well not very many, but yeah. Right, Two. Thanks. Bye.